Under viewport display, turn on axis. In edit mode with everything selected, shift N and local positive Z tangent. Select the root of the IK bones, extrude them out on the X axis. Select the whole bone, Alt P, clear parent, and then G and X and move them out. On these ones, shift N and global positive Z axis. Select your first IK bone. Under pull target, select armature and select the corresponding bone. You then want to change the pull angle so that the leg is pointing at the pull target. In my case, it's negative 90, but yours might be different. You can see that the leg will now always point to this bone. Do the same thing for all the other legs. Select the pinchers in edit mode, shift N, global positive Z axis. Select the two tips right here, shift S, cursor to selected, shift A, add a bone, and hit R, X, and 90. Select this bone, hit the N key, right click the Z rotation, and click add driver. The object is going to be armature, select the new bone that we just added, we're going to set it to the Z location, and change it to transform space. On the expression, type in VAR, space, asterisk or times, space, and then 10. This will dictate how much you have to move the bone. A higher number you'll have to move it less, and a lower number you'll have to move it more. It's moving in the opposite way that I want. In edit mode of this bone, shift N, and global negative Z axis. Back to the driver, right click, copy driver, go to the other bone, right click, paste driver. You can see we have an issue here, so turn off X axis, select these two bones, shift N, global negative Z axis. And now you can see what we get. We are now ready to animate.